What's up, you guys? It's your girl Tamara G. I and we are back with another video. So if you guys want to see how I got this little swoop and the doop and all this and the look, like, keep watching the video because I know y'all gonna want to keep watching this video. Wait, wait, wait. Before we start this video, I have some very, very, very important news to share with you guys. So recently, your girl applied to be a part of Sephora Squad 2021. So what Sephora Squad 2021 is, it is a group of beauty influencers that are handpicked from Sephora. And you know, basically you'll become a Sephora influencer. I need something from you guys. You know, I need y'all to have my back on this, okay? So what I need you guys to do is Click the link down below and leave a testimonial as to why you think I should be a part of Sephora Squad 2021. This is something really, really huge. This is something I never did before. Now, this will be very greatly appreciated and I really, really would like to be a part of Sephora Squad 2021. So if you guys are rocking with me, we're gonna make it happen. So don't forget to click the link down below and go ahead and leave your testimonial. And I love you guys, stay blessed. Let's get started with this video. guys so we want to do another install and i just thought that i would just go ahead and have the camera rolling a little bit while i'm putting the makeup on my lace now today i'm going to be doing some things that are a little different i'm going to try to just full-on pluck the lace while it's on my head and if you are going to do that because i know sometimes i do do that but it does be plucked just a little bit so um with doing that you want to make sure that it is a glue, like you're using lace glue to achieve that look because you know, when you do a glueless install, you can't really tug that much because your lace is gonna lift up when you're trying to tug. So use this on my frontal and on my ball cap. So I'm gonna show you guys and I'll show you guys the back. This is 11. This is the 14. I'm gonna really go in depth and try to really make this install a very in-depth type install. So I'm really gonna be explaining a lot of stuff. This hair is from Euler Hair, and you guys know I've worked with Euler Hair more times, like sometimes before, and the hair is always bomb. So this is like a little curly unit that I have going, and the curls are dry. So this is what the curls look like after. I wash to bleach the hair, but one thing that I would have to say is the knots bleached pretty well in the front but when it got to the back you can still kind of see some knots right okay so i'm gonna show you guys just how if that happens sometimes when that does happen i go ahead and just keep going sometimes that will happen and when you're bleaching knots you always don't bleach all the knots on a frontal so i'm just gonna go ahead and put some makeup on this and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i put the makeup on here so i'm gonna just kind of push this down a little bit this one in my hand right here is a 14 and this one is the 11 so i just take a little bit of the 11 first both shades because all of these shades really pretty much work with me and i'm using just this brush normally i don't use this brush because i use this brush for my makeup but um this is the only brush that i really had so i just spread it Ooh, we i hope that's the right color let's see mm, okay okay so I just spread it all over my frontal as you guys can see but if you guys would like me to do like an only fans type thing and go into more in depth on certain details by themselves i will keep that into consideration in doing that so yeah i'm just gonna put the makeup on there and then we're going to seal this with some got to be and really i'm just using the 11 so we're just gonna see i kind of did want to do a glue list but since i'm plucking on my head i have to use the lace glue i'm gonna show you guys the inside of the wig this is just how it's constructed the inside so we do have a good amount of space to work with this is something that i really want to get into because this is something that i really struggled with so the ear space so you guys see how the ears look and you guys see this whole little thing right here so first and foremost i just like to really hold on the clip my hair out the way this right here is going to be a problem because you guys see that the ear and your lace is just like like this so 
just do that, cut it. And I seen this off TikTok, y'all, like cut the middle, but that's for like people with big heads, but you can kind of cut slightly right here and your ear is good now. So you're really not even making a big incision on the lace, you're just cutting it a little bit so that your ear and stuff won't be looking crazy. Okay, so we are back, you guys, and we are up close and personal because, like I said, this video is very detailed because so I want to go ahead and just get pretty close so you guys can really 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 see what's going on so now we're gonna start with the lace glue so like i said before i'm using ghost bond and um i think i'm gonna do two layers because i want to easily take this off first when do like laying glue and stuff you want to make sure that you have something that is going to spread now today normally i'll use like a popsicle stick but i ran out so today I'm just using this end of this edge toothbrush and I got this edge toothbrush from one of the wigs that I had but you can find these at the beauty supply store as well and I'm doing my glue if you guys can see it looks like the ball cap isn't seamlessly into my skin and that's not a problem because when you put the lace glue on there it's going to melt in your skin with the lace glue so for the first layer I just put it some dots like on top so you guys see me putting dots right on top and I put dots right on top and right on my hairline like the way that I do it and I don't go ahead and do this area right here I wait and do it after so now that I put it on there you guys see that it's not like all right here it's not right there like it's just right on where the the wig cap is because I like doing this and I really I really thought about doing that really because it's like you don't want to have glue in the wrong places so I rather have to go back and add glue rather than having to try to figure out how I'm about to get this glue off my forehead because when the glue dries it's hard to get it off and especially if you got makeup on and you're doing your install and that happens it's just too much that's why I always tell you guys like I don't really see how people really do installs with makeup on but I mean I see how people do it because plenty of people do it but I was just saying I don't see really like for me personally I can do an install with makeup sometimes but if it's like a really tedious install I cannot do it with no makeup on because now with blow drying you can blow dry it on like a cool setting now this is a very old blow dryer I don't even remember what the name was I got it from abuse pot store like I'm talking about this blow dryer is probably i didn't had this blow dryer probably since middle school you guys and i'm 20 years old okay so it's just regular high low and it has the cool setting right here i put it all the way up to high sometimes to just blow dry or i put it up to cool or if you're like in a super cold room you guys if you see well if you're in a super cold room your lace will just your lace glue will just dry i've did i've did an install before with lace glue without a blow dryer and it came out really cute one time in high school so i'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry it a little bit more because it already is a little dry now we're gonna go on to our second layer and our second layer is going to go right here just above the cap For me, I like to put on a wig to do hairstyles that I really can't do with my hair and just get different looks. Now, some people be like, you can get so dramatic. You can tell it's a wig. Honey, I know it's a wig. And you know it's a wig, but it's a bomb wig. That's the difference. You know, it's not like, oh my God, that's a wig. It look crazy. It's, that's a wig and it's bomb, you know? So, I'm going to go ahead and just blow dry this part out. So now for this next part, you're gonna need a comb. So you're gonna wanna pull this lace back like this. Pull the lace back and make sure you are sitting the lace directly where you, how you want it to be. Regardless if it's over your cap, how you want it to be, or like make sure it's not under, cause then you're gonna have glue. But just make sure that you have your cap exactly the way you want it to be like i said regardless if it's over if it's over your ball cap or not so you just want to brush in like this and this is going to help 
put your lace in the way hold on my, my comb gets stuck this is gonna help put your lace like really push your lace into your hair so you just brushing it and I know that you guys have seen me do these steps like millions of times if you guys really follow my page but there is new people every day discovering who I am and there's a lot of people that don't know who I am so um and a lot of people who haven't watched some of my detailed things so this is just another detailed install for the books <laughs> so I'm just brushing it in. This hair isn't plucked. Like I said, I didn't go back and pluck because we're going to pluck on our head. So um, that's why this looks so bulky like that. It was just, I like to just pull on my hair like this just to see where it's very, very secure and where it's not very, very secure. I'm going to tie my hair with my elastic band and you can find elastic bands at the beauty supply store and you can also find elastic bands at like a craft store. We'll be explaining in a voiceover so let's just go ahead and get this plucking started so that we can get it out the way. Okay, you guys, so this is something I never tried before, and I was like, okay, let's just pluck while it's on the head. So this is possible, and I actually kind of like this way a little better because it does give you the room to, like, you actually know how it's going to look on your head. So it's different between just using the, um, plucking on the mannequin head. So uh, I didn't cut the lace because I feel like that was a better decision because when you cut the lace and stuff, it had to be laid. So now I'm just plucking and this is the same way I'll pluck normally off the wig head. You just do it from side to side and then you just do it to how much ever you like it. And yeah. And you guys can also see that I am about to pull another layer down and just start plucking. Now with me, this is a curly unit and I didn't really want that really, really like scalp, scalp, scalp look. I just want it to be like really cute and I didn't want it to be bulky. I just want it to be less bulkier than it was. And you guys know after you like put the hot comb and stuff on there, it's, it tends to flatten down a little bit more. So I just did that. So I'll pluck the front and then I'll make another part and then pluck behind that and then um just keep doing the same thing for each side so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm still doing this side but i'm gonna do the opposite side i'm gonna go to the other side first and then do the middle last
can see I am cutting just a little bit of the excess lace and stuff that does that's not supposed to be there because really when you're doing an install and even you know even I do installs all the time but I'm still learning new tricks and still learning ways to improve my craft and get better at doing my own hair and stuff like that so when you do have lace like you don't want no lace that you don't want just lace just sitting on your head so lace that doesn't have hair on it we want to make sure you get all of that out but right now as you guys can see I'm just putting the glue on the areas that do need to have more glue on them and then after that we'll be ready Taking out my baby hairs for the baby hairs and really you guys i've been seeing a lot of people saying that like after eric and tay's class it was like oh my gosh i just learned how to take the baby hairs out and you're supposed to flatten it with the hot comb and all this stuff and i'm like y'all like people been doing this so like i would say if you guys want to really know more about frontals and stuff before you guys pay money to take a class look on youtube look at other videos and i'm not just saying look at just my videos you guys can look at other people's videos because that's exactly what i did and you can learn other tips and tricks like um slay by jordan really gave me a lot of good tips on doing frontals and stuff and that's only from his youtube videos so if you guys just look around and take different techniques from other people i guarantee you it will really help you but this is what i normally do um if you guys watch my videos then you'll see like i normally do this already so just taking out the hair and i'm just plucking it a little bit and this is the hair that we're gonna do for our baby hairs and for the baby hairs i did want to do something simple but then i was like no i want to do something like dramatic so that's when i decided to go ahead and do this so when i'm cutting my baby hairs i don't cut them super short at first i cut them just like a little short just in case i have like a different type of baby hair style i want to do or if i like want to be like super extra that day then i will have enough room to work because after you cut you cannot go back you cannot add hair to what you cut so you have to make sure that that's the length that you want to cut it at so I would say cut it at a decent length and you can always go back and cut it down so I got this small um this small little flat iron from the beauty supply store so you can go to your local beauty supply store and they should have flat like small little flat irons or you can even look it up on amazon i'm sure they'll have them because amazon has everything and curling your baby hairs really does make a difference and it really does help you get that little swoop little effect so really um when i'm doing my baby hairs i use gorilla snot and i didn't show it in there but i'm you guys should really know what Gorilla Snot is. Uh, I'll put like a picture on the side right here so you guys can see. But that's what I used in using Gorilla Snot to do frontals. It really, really changed the game for me. I did it before, but then I just stopped and I started using like um, Wetline Extreme. And Wetline Extreme doesn't hold as much as the gorilla snot holds and the gorilla snot really holds and give you that look so for the baby hairs um i really don't know really how to explain how to do the baby hairs but it's really just you guys see what i'm doing just swooping it and stuff so yeah i'm gonna just let y'all watch the baby hairs and yeah <laughs>
I'm just making sure that my hair is in this like the right position that I want it at and I'm gonna go ahead and hot comb it and then I'm wrapping my hair and I don't wrap down the edges or anything I just wrap down where the lace is so I can make sure the lace really just sinks in and I have to go ahead and put the mousse and stuff on the curly hair so that's why I wanted to put the elastic band on first before I decided to put the mousse and stuff on it just because the install is still new and it still needs time to set and with this install I didn't really take no time to sit under the dryer for more like 30 minutes or anything like, I was really doing this install fast so that's why I really added my elastic band right there so that I can have some security while I'm putting the mousse on and I'm just using their Nairobi or Nairobi mousse and I'll put that right here in the corner as well so you guys can see the exact mousse that I'm using and I like this mousse really because it doesn't make the hair super hard or anything and you can easily like undo the curls and make it look really cute but i just put it all in the hair and you guys are gonna see me blow drying the hair a little bit and then yeah that will be the look i let it dry you guys are gonna see how it looks when it's dry and fluffy and all that stuff so the install is complete y'all the finished look on how this hair turned out i feel like it turned out really really cute because i love this whole little thing that i have going on in this area and i let the hair dry a little bit before i came back because i did want like a big look but if you guys don't want a big look you can just add like the mousse and stuff on the hair and it will give you like that little cute little curls that I had in it before because when I did put it on it was washed and I bleached the knots and washed it so that is how the curls look when they're like just washed and I let it sit and dry and it was really cute only thing I had put on it was condition shampoo and conditioner so this is from the um mousse and stuff and after the hair really got like dry I started separating it and stuff just so it can look really cute and I really love the way this turned out like you would have thought I went to go get my hair done by somebody like I like this this is really cute at this point I feel like Euler hair is a great company because every time I do a review from Eula Hair, you guys go crazy over it. Like, you guys really go crazy over Eula Hair. So Eula Hair has to be one of my, on, on the top of my list for like hair and stuff. But yes, you guys, get into it. 
um i feel like this style really speaks for itself and there's nothing more that i really have to say so um make, make sure you guys look at the description box down below so you can get all the information on this hair there is also a discount code down below so you guys can get like a little bit of money off of your hair as well so make sure you guys go tap in and if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl's youtube channel and we'll be back with more videos soon stay blessed